Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you happen to be watching this, welcome back to another player guide slash football manager experiment slash player highlights. A, a new series I'm kind of trialing out through the summer where we take a look at some of the impending transfers and show you what these guys are about. Today we're talking about Joel Carvalho, I hope I've pronounced that correctly, uh, Portuguese fans will probably crucify me in the comment section, but that is absolutely fine. Uh, but signing from Benfica for Nottingham Forest, this guy looks like a really, really good prospect. And for Nottingham Forest to pull off this move, and especially with the fee involved, is rather impressive. Nottingham Forest fans, are you looking forward to seeing this guy? What do you know about him? How have you managed to accomplish the transfer fee? That's what I want to know. And uh, Benfica fans, are you are you disappointed to see him go? Could he have, you know, how far could he have gone with your team? What kind of a player is he? Let us know in the comments as well. But a few facts before we go on to football manager. He's 21 years old, 5 foot 7 inches, plays in the centre mid and also the attacking centre midfield option. He's a youth player through Benfica, so he's only ever represented them other than one loan spell away from the club. He's represented Portugal at every single youth level from under 15s all the way up to the under 21. So he's he's clearly highly rated. Last season, he made eight appearances for Benfica and the transfer fee is rumoured to be just over £13 million. Absolutely amazing how that they've managed to afford this transfer. But they clearly are expecting big things of him if that is the kind of transfers that we are talking about. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to show you his stats on Football Manager, show you what kind of attributes you're going to be looking at. We'll holiday one year into the future, and then we'll take it from there. So here are his Football Manager highlights. So this is what we're looking at. Here he is, 6.25 value. Wages, I've only just moved those over from Benfica, so they're kind of a generally generated thing. But he's already wanted by Crystal Palace. So how long he'll last on the next in next season, I don't know. But we'll we'll figure that out as and when it comes to it. But he's just very gifted on the ball. I mean, look at his dribbling, first touch, passing, technique, his vision's good, flair's good, decision making's good, composure's good, physicals are very, very well rounded. He's a nice solid player. He likes to play one twos, cuts inside from both wings and runs with the ball often. So he is somebody who's going to make things happen during a game. I have to admit, I don't know much about this guy, but from what I have seen, I am very much looking forward to seeing how he can adapt to the championship and what he can do with Forest. I think this is a brilliant, brilliant signing, not only for Nottingham Forest, but also for the championship. He he could be the real deal. And I'm, I, like I said, I, I would love to go and see him in action. But what, as I said, what we're going to do now is just holiday one year into the future, see how potentially he might get on at Forest, or if he does get another move away, we'll see how he gets on. And then we'll have a look at some of his highlights at the end of the video. So let's go one year into the future. So end of the first season, let's go and find out how he managed to get on. Uh, if we click on the championship. Right, so Forest finished down in 19th place, and so not a great season for them. Well, they did better than my team, Norwich, so fair play. Uh, but let's click on him and find out whether or not he's still in the squad. Harry Redknapp's in charge, I just saw there. Uh, where is he? Yep, there he is. He's still at the club. Is he on a new contract? He's not. He's still on the same contract as before. He can't be happy with that. But if we look at his overall stats, he... I don't really notice anything different. I mean, you guys will probably be able to tell me in the comments section below. But six goals and four assists from 35 starts. So I'm a bit disappointed he didn't play more games than that. Has he had any injuries this season? A bruised ankle for two days. So nothing too serious. So all in all, he's contributed to uh, 10 goals throughout the championship season which is not a bad return 6.77 as an average rating but i mean what do you what do you guys think forest fans especially are you you, you must be buzzing about this what kind of an impact do you think you'll have where do you think you'll play is this just the beginning of you making some big signings as a club let me know down in the comment section i hope you've enjoyed this it's just it's just a little bit of a 
kind of a guesswork as to what kind of a player you know Carval could be Carvalho could be I don't know if, I've probably been asked that wrong again but yeah it's just a kind of a, a guesswork to see what he could be like but I'm going to leave you with some of his highlights now from his career so I hope you enjoy these and as always on the channel until we see each other next time adios get involved in that comment section